for you, man. I, I was, that's what I was going to ask you. Is it, it seems like a lot of times when it when it rains buckets of crap, it pours buckets of crap. Uh, oh. Sorry to hear about your fiance, and you recently lost a, a family pet. Yeah, that's, that's a hard thing yeah. to do. We've all been through it. My baby, my baby. It's it's been Lisa. Uh, yeah, Lisa. It, it's been a really really messed up year. Uh, I, I you know started with the fiance. Uh, forget before before she even left it. My union with her, my announcement of being engaged, led to a separation between myself and my family. Uh, you know, to have a girl who's half Persian and half German for a Jewish family to deal with is probably the most caustic combination you can imagine. <laughs> so they didn't want to accept that and uh, kind of divorced themselves from me for a while. And uh, then she left uh, as a result of a combination of things. That, and not her instability and her not being able to deal with this life, with me being right. away for as right. long as I am, and with right. you know having to deal with being the fiance of David Draymond, with right. all the connotations that come along with that, true right. or false. Right. I've been a pretty damn good boy for like about four or five years, right. but everyone else would have you believe that I'm still this maniac. Right. And it's it's really not the case. I had my time. Right. You know, I'm sure I racked up Gene Simmons like numbers <laughs> in, in my day. But, you know, it, really it up hasn't to been, thousands, huh? I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, doubt it. Um, man, right here. Uh, well, you know, it is what it is. I was going to say me too. Um, then my father had to reconstruct his back surgery I mean, to the extent where they had to place cadaver bones into the spine because the vertebrae that had deteriorated. He's still recovering from that. My mother had a small heart attack a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm trying to sell my house in Chicago uh, with everything I got, you know, to try and get out of Chicago and get to someplace warm so I don't have to deal with Chicago winters anymore. Where are you thinking? I'm actually been thinking about Austin, Texas. Really? Interesting. Yeah. The most liberal city in Texas, beautiful right. hill country, state income tax free. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, that helps. You know, I, and, and Relatively sheltered from natural disasters, great schools for when I want to have children, and I do. One day I need to find the right woman. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it's just very tranquil, and I'd like to have a fresh start. And, um, you know, it's, it's just been overall rough. And then the icing on the cake, you know, not in a good way, obviously, was my poor baby, Lisa. She, she was only seven years old. What kind of dog? She was Nikita. And uh, the sweetest, you know, Nikita you'd ever Never, not a not a mean bone in her body. And, uh, cancer? Yeah, osteosarcoma, really aggressive bone cancer. Right. It had already uh, eaten away her entire leg and had gone into the spine. It was already manifesting on the skin. She wasn't eating. And she was defecating blood. And uh. It was just crying when I would pick her up, and it got to the point where I just couldn't handle it anymore. I couldn't see her go through Couldn't go through, exactly. She wasn't a candidate for chemotherapy. She wasn't a candidate for anything. So it was just prolonging the inevitable. And unfortunately, I had to do it while I was on tour. So that, that's really, rough. really torn me apart. I bet. I bet. Then, you know, in the whole beginning of this run, I've been sick. You know, up until recently. That what else is going on, man? Stress and depression, it's unfortunately, awful, have an effect on your body. But